Welcome Traveller, I'm Free to Play and I'm your guide for successful Free to Play adventure on Astera. Today we will compare Solon to his Thieves version, Canary. Before we talk too much about that insanely good ultimate of her, let's dive a little into her passive which is named after her class. If she gets a Thief's Evasion, which are stacked with every active skill she uses, she evades almost every attack coming at her. Those get consumed when attacked, one per attack fail to reach her. But with Thief's Lars uh, Wrath, the other passive, if you attack with a basic attack or skill, excluding counterattacks and ultimate, you launch a follow-up dagger attack called Pursuit, corresponding to your Thief's Evasion stacks up to 4 times, which shave shields regardless of weakness. And this passive does not consume Thieves evasion stacks. And if my math is correct here, then we have 7 shield shaves regardless of weakness with almost any of our attacks, either if you like to apply dagger resistance down, physical and elemental attack down or defense down, and up to 9 shield shaves at max boost with her ruby burst ability. She reminds me a lot of Cerisa, as she is not there to be attacked after shield shaving. But Canary shaves a lot more shields and can inflict one more debuff than her. So she can be used as a tank now? Because if she evades everything plus the evades Hami gives her, she does function as the ultimate tank shield shaver now. And when we're at it, Hami's evades will be discarded first before Canary's will active before passive, but if she uses her ultimate that turn her back row can't be used anyway, so why not use Amy there? And if you beat the Elite Tower Floor 3, which is also starting tomorrow, you get a DSA 4 for free, the perfect accessory for her to evade all attacks every time as long as she has Thief's Evasions, even without Hammy. But why do I compare her ultimate to Solon's if it works a little different? Depending on the level of her ultimate attack, she gives a potency buff up to 50% to the whole team. Not even one single unit in the front, which Solon is capable of. So you even target the back row with it, like Sonya or Roland, who are just waiting there to come to the front that turn. And attacks which hit often like Flash of Steel or multiple attacks from almost every thief are predetermined for that ultimate, which you don't need a damage cap of, which Solon applies to. So is Canary better than Solon? I don't think it's actually stronger. Because when you have 7 buffers and 1 damage dealer, then the damage done by that one unit can overcome the damage dealt by 3 units in the front row after Canary's ultimate. And it's easier to execute as you only need to buff 1 unit and not 3 for 1 break where you have to plan accordingly to do that. I'd say if all your damage dealers don't need huge damage limit up, then it's stronger than Solon's ultimate. So just perfect for Thief teams. Bargolo is granting 50k damage cap up and increases Thief's damage even further, so with his buff before the break that will be so effective. You can still do the Primrose Solon combo with the Canary too, having two units reaching 100% total damage up and one behind Primrose in the second break with 50% damage up for 150% damage up in total which does not top 200% from Solon, but is still a lot of damage. U10 would be the best bat for her as you want to use that ultimate more often as you do with Solon. But considering she is a sacred place unit and their banners are expansive with 200 pulls for sparking, there will be a lot of people consider not pulling her. But Leon and Xenia who are also in that banner can also profit from Canary so maybe doing a few pulls won't be that bad, won't they? Because, as she can now decrease attack and defense of the enemies, shave shields grant the whole team more power and break and is the best evasive tag we've ever had, she can easily fit in every general team and especially for thieves with Sonya or merchants with Roland. And of course, every other character who will come out in the future having bonus stats and skills coming from the back. But that is my opinion. If you think otherwise or have something else to say here, you're welcome to write in the comments or in my discord group and if you like this channel to class up i really appreciate a subscription if you didn't already and give thumbs up to this video if you've liked what you've seen see you next time you're free to play it